Want to know how Facebook paid me $265 to not share this information with you? Watch this video and you'll find out. In this video, we're gonna talk about what the unethical business tactics that Facebook was using on their users. What, we're gonna talk about what they were. For illegal collection and storage. How people are staying secure moving forward. How I avoid all of that and avoid my data being collected and being traced by which websites I go to. And can you still claim your check from Facebook? It was $200 to $400 for the settlement. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. I, I appreciate you guys watching my video. If you like content like this and you like this video, make sure you subscribe below just right down there it's that big red button click that and then after you subscribe click the bell and then that way i'll pop up in your notifications when i release a new video so make sure you go check that out facebook has 2.7 billion monthly users and recently had a major lawsuit filed against them mr reed it is out of sheer morbid curiosity i'm allowing this freak show to continue Users in Illinois found some unethical business tactics being used by Facebook between 2011 and 2020. As a result of these findings, Facebook paid off some of these users because of these unethical tactics that were being used. So one of my friends, he actually told me about this, how Facebook came across this major lawsuit with some of their users. And I asked him, I immediately started asking him questions like, how'd you get money from Facebook? Your Honor, I object. What does this have to do with anything? Overruled. This is Cole, answer the question. And the first question I asked was like, how did you find out about this? How'd you hear about it? And uh, I know a lot of people had said they got like a notification saying that they could apply for it. I did not get the notification, but I don't really go on Facebook too often. I asked him like how he found out about it. And he said they actually got a letter in the mail saying that he could, it was from like a class action lawsuit type thing. Like they send out letters to people that they think could have been affected. So that way like they could get more money from Facebook or whatever company they're filing it against. My friend got a letter in the mail and then he also read some articles online and that's how he said he found out about it. So if you guys wanna know more about it, make sure you go check it out online or just keep watching this video because you're gonna learn everything you need to know in this video. So my next question to my friend was, what was this all about? Like, what is this lawsuit? What does it entail? And he said, word for word, he said that Facebook had a lawsuit against them for illegal collection and storage of biometric data without proper user consent. Now, let me get this straight. That would mean... I don't know what all of that means, but I'll break it down for you. So that way, you know, all of you guys who are in my boat, I had to ask you a few more questions. What that means is illegal collection and storage of biometric data. They're collecting and storing facial recognition templates. That's what people in Illinois were upset about. <laughs> being automatically tagged in photos that were posted by other users. So my next question was when applying for the settlement, like what did you have to do? Like, was it, did it take forever? Did you like have to give a bunch of information? And he basically said that all you needed to do was just prove that you had a Facebook account between 2011 and 2020. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people out there that had Facebook accounts between that time. So pretty much all you gotta do is just prove that you had an account between that those dates and you're good, you're eligible for the it was $200 to $400 for the settlement. This contract is void! Depending on how many people signed up for it. So basically my friend said that all he had to do was go on, fill out a few pages. I'm just basically saying that he had a Facebook account between 2011 and 2020, and then they just deposited that check. Standard community property applies and she is entitled to half of the marital assets or $11.395 million. Jordan Facebook, swoosh! And that's the game! Facebook paid them off. Now we're gonna talk about how to stay secure online moving forward so that way your information isn't just being like, you know, collected and stored without your consent. So next we're gonna talk about those and there's three things that I do there. First of all, there's the settings in Facebook, like the actual Facebook website. You go in there, you edit your profile, uh, your privacy settings, go through there. You just gotta read through it, see if that kind of information is something that you would want uh, shared. But you guys can go through the Facebook privacy and security settings things. You could even turn on two-factor authentication so that way whenever you log in, there's a new login to your Facebook. It sends you a text so that way you have to type in the code. So, it, you know, a little, little extra security there. Some people might think, oh yeah, Google Chrome. Google Chrome is the best, you know, like some people just love Google Chrome. I know I was there, loved Google Chrome. I was a big Chrome user, but then I found out that they're just collecting all of the data that you use on their browser. Literally, if you go in there, you probably have cookies stored on you, websites are tracking you, 
you don't want any of that and it actually slows down your browser so if you're searching up stuff on the internet it's gonna make your browser and your loading time much slower and then you're gonna have to see all these ugly ads on YouTube you're gonna have to wait to five seconds to skip the ad how I avoid all of that and avoid my data being collected and being traced by which websites I go to I use a browser called brave browser and it's actually run on a cryptocurrency platform so that's pretty awesome so you have an opportunity to make money by just using the browser and the browser blocks all tracers blocks all ads and it keeps you really secure online so that's the second way of staying as secure as possible using brave browser because it keeps you very secure keeps all of your data on lock it has a pretty good like password keychain in there too so that way you can basically store all of your passwords without worrying that you know google has it or like any of these other platforms you know so yeah that's brave browser that'll be listed in the description below and then the last and final thing to keep you as secure as possible when you're online is using a vpn i've seen casey neistat he talks about this a lot of big youtubers these days are talking about vpns because security online is so important so yeah that's why i use a VPN and I really encourage you guys to use a VPN. My favorite VPN is called NordVPN and I'll have a link to that in the description and for all of you that use that link you're gonna be helping out the channel. I appreciate you guys because that helps me make more videos in the future, upgrade this quality of video for you guys. That actually leads me to my next point here. If you guys like this video and you want to see more like it in the future make sure you subscribe below that red button like we were talking about before and then after you do that click that button you'll be notified when the next video I release comes out. That one's gonna be about how to make $500 per day using Google Maps. So for all of you guys that are interested in that, it's coming. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see that video, make sure you have the bell turned on so that way you get notified. And the question of the day today is, what do you guys do to stay secure online, to stay secure on Facebook? How do you keep your data private when you're browsing online? So let me know in the comments below, is that even something that you guys really care about? Like, is that something you really think about? Like, oh, I don't need to stay secure. Like, take my information you can have it <laughs> let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments below i'm interested to hear other perspectives here so or if you guys know anything more about this lawsuit let me know in the comments below love hearing you guys talking in the comments yeah with all that being said i hope you guys like this video hey smash that like button one more time if you haven't and i'll see you guys in the next one peace got a little bit of bourbon county over here caramel bourbon county by goose island sorry only for Illinois residents only, I think, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if uh, this is available somewhere else. Get down.